Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. Today is just going to be a quick video and we're going to talk about the new Skydio drone that was just launched about two weeks ago. It's called the Skydio 2 Plus and it's very similar to what they had. They've just made some new refinements and enhancements to it. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about this, but I thought I'd still kind of do a quick unboxing and uh, show you what you get with the package and we'll talk about what's new with it. Now this release was actually perfect timing for me because I actually sold my original Skydio just before Christmas. I was actually getting rid of some drones that I wasn't really flying as much. Now I loved the Skydio. I loved my Skydio 2 drone but the problem I was having with it is range. The drone is incredible when it comes to following. It is leaps and bounds ahead of any drone on the market when it comes to autonomous flight. I use following once in a while but it's not something that I do on a regular basis. To me what was more important is a good signal connection and range. I don't fly terribly far but you know I want a drone that's going to get me out at least a good kilometer without any issues and unfortunately the Skydio with the way it was just did not do that. So I found myself not flying it very often and I thought well you know it's kind of losing value just sitting there so I opted to sell it. Now instantly as soon as I watched the guy walk away with it I felt full of regret. I thought geez I think I just made a huge mistake. But then out of the blue Skydio launched this new drone and uh, one of the improvements on it is range and we'll talk a little bit about that here in a minute. Now when you purchase it they have different kits you can get. You can get the base package but you can also get some of their upgrades. They have a sports kit, a premium bundle or something and the cinema kit which is what I purchased. And I just want to show you here how it comes. So if you purchase the base kit you're going to get a package like this. This has a case and the drone inside which we'll take a look at here in a minute. And then if you purchase one of the upgraded kits like the cinema kit you're going to get this case and all the components come pre-packaged inside but you're still going to get the drone in a separate package. So let's take a look at everything here and we'll talk about what's new with the Skydio 2 Plus. So you can see here we get this hard case and even though it has a material on it it is a hard case. It does offer a fair amount of good crush protection. It's got a removable strap and uh, this is important if you're just taking the drone along you're not bringing any of the components with it. This fits nicely inside a backpack. You get a little kind of a quick start guide for it so it's important to definitely look over that. And as mentioned even if you order something like the cinema kit even though you're going to get this hard case you'll still get this portable case as well. And it has the Skydio logo at the top same with the hard case up here Skydio logo and that's important for precision landing. If you're doing a case landing the drone actually looks for that logo and it will land right on it. And I have a video on my channel kind of demonstrating that. It actually works quite well. So here it is here. Again, we've got uh, a little bit of information, some legal information there. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable for charging. We have the power adapter for charging. And uh, it's in this little kind of foam piece so it fits in there nicely. But you can remove that foam piece and that is a spot for a second battery. So we have the battery here. And this is one of their new upgraded batteries and again we'll talk about that here in a minute. Little Skydio cleaning cloth. I can't remember if my original one had one of them or not. And this is actually very important because these sensors that are around it for the obstacle avoidance need to be kept clean in order to function correctly. And then of course here we have a couple of spare propellers and the drone. So a couple things that are new. Uh, first off is they've upgraded the battery. You can now get 28 minutes of flight time per battery and what's best is that they haven't changed the form factor so these batteries are compatible with the original Skydio 2 or the Skydio 2 Plus. So if you've got the original Skydio 2 you can order these new batteries and get more flight time and vice versa if you've already got quite a few batteries from the original Skydio 2 and you decide to upgrade to the new model you can use all of your old batteries with it. So that's actually really nice that they've done that. They've made them backward compatible. But one of the big upgrades of the Skydio 2 other than the batteries is the fact that it now has these folding antennas. The purpose of them is to help with the range. I do believe they now rate it for six kilometers of range when using the controller. Now of course in real world scenarios especially if you have a lot of Wi-Fi interference you're never going to get that kind of range. But for me as long as I can get a good kilometer kilometer and a half of range then I'll be more than happy with this drone and I think with these new antennas I'm going to be able to achieve that. So now with that extra flight time and the new fold out antennas I think I'm going to get a lot of good use out of this drone now. So we're going to set that aside and we'll take a look at what comes with the cinema kit. Uh, the other thing that they did introduce with this is a new software feature called keyframes. Basically keyframes are kind of like waypoints except you do have to create them in real time with the drone. You can't bring up a map and then set your keyframes and attributes. You actually have to fly the drone to every position. It kind of looks like VR as you're creating them. You can see all your waypoints in real time. So I'm actually pretty curious about that and I'm pretty excited to play around with it. Now the really nice thing that they've done is they've made that keyframe update available to original Skydio 2 owners. 
So if you have the original Skydio 2, you can download the firmware update, I do believe it's available now, and your Skydio 2 will be able to make full use of those keyframes. You get this beautiful case when you order the cinema kit, I do believe it's from GPC, uh, they make pretty incredible cases. So it is kind of nice that they offer that. And again, it has the logo at the top. So if you want to do a case landing, the drone will pick up that logo. When we open it here, we got some information, some more stuff about the Skydio and about the filters there. Another cleaning cloth from Polar Pro. And that's because it does come with a set of Polar Pro filters. They're just held onto the front magnetically. So definitely a nice touch. And here you can see we have our data cables. We have USB-C to USB-C and USB-C to Lightning. I wasn't aware, but it looks like it comes with a memory card, 128 gigabytes, so that's nice. We get two spare batteries, so that will definitely come in handy. And one thing I do want to show you here, you'll be able to differentiate between the batteries because you can see here it says Skydio 2 Plus. So if you do have some of the older batteries kicking around, because they look visually similar, you'll be able to know which one's which just by the label on them. Of course, we get the battery charging hub. This allows you to charge two batteries at once. You can see here we get more spare propellers. We get four separate ones in this package plus the two that came with the drone for a total of six propellers. We get the beacon. Now this beacon has been upgraded as well. This supports five gigahertz. So it extends the range of the beacon to three kilometers. So that's actually pretty impressive as well. And of course, lastly here, we get the controller. Now nothing has changed with the controller. This is the identical controller that came with the original Skydio 2. The only way they increased the distance was again by those fold-out antennas but the controller is the same, unfortunately. Hopefully that is something that changes with the Skydio 3 at some point when it comes out. A Skydio 3 that has a good controller, a smart controller even, with the range of something like OcuSync on a DJI drone would be just absolutely perfect. So yeah, that's basically it. We'll put everything back in here. So this case can actually hold a total of four batteries. One in the drone, we have the two here, and then we can put another one there as well. This spot back here is for a tablet holder. There are some specific tablet holders for the controller that uh, will fit down in there. But I'm gonna throw the charging cable in there for now, and then we have a spot for the charger there. We'll put in the extra propellers from the other case. And uh, there we go. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to get out and test out the new Skydio, the new transmission distance, the batteries. I've got a nice e-bike now I can do some tracking with, testing it out. So if you are interested in the new Skydio 2, make sure you stay tuned, as I will be uh, testing out all the features, keyframing, tracking, range over the coming months. As long as the weather holds out, as mentioned, if you're not aware, I do live in Canada. Sometimes the weather doesn't like to cooperate. It can be very difficult running a drone channel when you live in Canada. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. Just a quick unboxing to see what all comes inside and an introduction to the new Skydio 2 Plus. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.